Hey guys, Joe here. Joe's RV Tech DIY, Canada's RV Repair, and World of RV Parts. So we're working on an NT Suburban 12 SE. And when you turn it on, um, it does try to ignite and the flame happens for about a quick second. So we're gonna go ahead and take this burner out real quick. We disconnected the electrode wire already. So now we're gonna take this burner off. Remember, if you remove this burner, you have to replace this gasket behind it. So that's required. So we know the igniter's working good, but we don't know what's going on inside. If it's like, cause it, like it tries to turn on for a quick second and then it shuts back off and it just continuously tries to do that until it goes into the lockout mode. So um, go ahead and slide this burner out. It could be full of carbon. Yeah, it looks like it's just packed full of some kind of dust. So um, we'll kind of give you guys an idea here. So what we're going to do is just probably see if we can empty it all out. Um, so if you guys can see inside there. But this is the gasket I'm talking about. You see, it looks like somebody's taken this off before and they didn't put a new one on. This does, this needs to be put on. So it can allow carbon monoxide to get in into your RV. So it's very important um, that you do it. But you can see inside there, it's quite a bit of buildup. So this thing definitely needs to be cleaned and serviced. But, um, actual burner itself these are rather heavy let's take it outside and oh, look at all that stuff that's just falling right out of it so so he probably had it somewhere where it was dusty and so it just got clogged and these won't operate when they're clogged or full of dirt. So you can take an air compressor, blow this out. Or in my case, we're just, you know, kind of just doing a clean test here. But uh, most likely that's what was wrong with it. So um, we'll get a new gasket put on it. It will remount the burner. And then uh, we will uh, test it and see if that fixed it. So again, it's a Suburban NT12 SE. And uh, this specific one is looking like it's gonna be a burner. I'll let you guys know in the comments below in the description, we'll update you on how the job went. I just kinda of wanted to show you guys how to take the burner off. And uh, you know, you wanna make sure you always have the propane shut off and the thermostat shut off, everything shut off. So you don't make any mistakes. Till next time, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe.